Hi everyone, welcome to my channel again. I'm Houseman. Today I'm going to show you how to replace the battery in a Dyson V10 like any other cordless electrical machine at the home like a power drill or this vacuum cleaner. They all depends on the battery. When the battery starts, it costs you a lot to buy like this one. It costs you almost 100 US dollars or 80 pounds to buy a new one. You can buy some replacement at a website like eBay or Amazon that cost you maybe 30 pounds or 40 US dollars but it, you don't know how long it will last for. The best way to do is I will open it, show you how to do it, show which place, which position you have to uh, unscrew it or do some trick on it and then it will be replaced by this kind of battery this actually is the battery from any laptop you take this out and you test it this is good to go and then you can put this in and you can save a lot of money and then you can change it whatever you have to your first time to my channel Houseman is a person very keen on fixing things DIY at home to make your life easier save time save money save any technician you have to wait or you have to bring this out to the warranty if you like this channel please subscribe and make some comment below watch it to the end of course very important and share this with your friends okay let's get started um, you have to take this out from the machine the vacuum cleaner take this out with three screws so two at the bottom and one at, um, at the side of the machine which is the titan here so this is a Philips screw very simple you can just use any one of these try to have a good one and then unscrew them and then we can find another screw here there's a T9 hope you can see it if you don't just pick a T9 or pick any one and then you can try to unscrew it let's do it now And then what I would do is to because I have to reuse this, I don't want to break it. So what we do is to use a hand screw to do a hole, do a hole here, do a hole here. So one here, one here. There is a clip underneath, and if you can break the the clip, and then you can put it out easily. So these two, and also on the side. This one, don't tie it too deep because you can see the metal strip underneath is the connecting to the battery. But in fact, it's not it's not dangerous if you know what you're doing. So you drill it in and then make a hole, break the clip, and then you can undo it. There is also one here, one here, and you can also drill two holes here. But what I prefer to do, I will. Um, slide a card inside and then pull it out to save any more damage um, from below here there is a clip beside behind here this is a v10 makeup machine it's called sv12 you can make sure the model is much more the same as this one and um, for others battery actually the principle is much more the same so two screws here two screws on each side and two screws underneath and one clip here and the other clip sometimes here but not on this one and this one you find another I actually do all the marking already there is a, uh, a clip here as well at the top I put the blue dot here so telling me next time I have to undo it, make it easier. Insert a flap means that I will show you in a minute. Another important thing I have to mention is to discharge it. When I take it out before I disassemble it, I have to use the battery until the vacuum cleaner is not running anymore. And if you press this one, you see the fraction only and the minimum 
voltage so if I put this in the machine it doesn't power it up don't charge it up fully charge up and then disassemble it it's much more dangerous so make sure it's, it's, it's a low voltage side when whatever that happened any short circuit it just had the um, uh, thermal run away slowly and we, you will notice that and make sure you know what you're doing I have a flap here so I drill all the holes and then I can pull it a little bit leave a gap here and then slide the flap inside and then with this last clip on the top I can push it from my thumb make sure you don't have to screw here anymore push it with the thumb and then the thing will come out the design is pretty good when you come out just to cover here without any wire or anything connected to it and this one you can push down and keep pushing down this to the most lower position as you can and put it out slightly I pre-open it of course I make sure I can do it and then show you I all make all the marking here when you slide it out put it out this one make sure the wire all the things are not brick not broken and pull it out and the whole case is like this the design is pretty good this one better than uh, the V9 or I don't know V9 actually V8 and V7 I have two batteries one of for V8 V7 as well the design is not much as not much as good as this one you pull it out you can do the marking there are seven batteries here so you have to prepare seven of these I like doing this a lot so I have four of these and uh, some of these so mix them um, I test them the, the health of the battery is much more the same and the capacity is much more the same make sure you use the similar batteries similar age similar health uh, in order to make the maximum performance so seven battery here I mark the first one one two three four five six seven positive negative negative positive and then go uh, alternately so what I have to do is to put these batteries in Next you have to take this plastic cover out. There is a hook there. Actually it takes some force to take it up. With some force you can take it out. Actually I did it before I trim it and now I show you how to do it. From now on you can take the batteries out easily. Right, like this. Let me do that. So it's a positive, negative. When you take it out, you better to turn it. Turn it here. So inside, you can see here there is a. This two is to detect the temperature of the cell. It's a thermos sensor. So now it's become this and when you're ready, put this in, it's pretty hard because of this little straight there. So I will trim it later. My battery here I have these strips here so easier for um, ironing, solder iron to put them together. So I leave it and I put it straight up so that it doesn't block this cover and I put it back on. The whole thing going in is like this. 
and then you can solder it together. I put a signed out here plus and signed out here minus that is connect to the board control board the negative and the positive. All others are for the balance in the between for the balance charging. So be aware that this out and this out are the final voltage that want the whole package to go out. So I recommend to solder it all to between something in between rather than connecting the positive and negative to the board directly so that um, make sure the battery is ready in between and then when you connect to the BMS it is like a whole single battery so what I'm going to do is to protect this and here from touching anything outside and then I can solder all the things in between doing this big size of battery individual cell is big but uh, the uh, voltage is um, down to 3.7 volts but still could cause some spark if they short circuit it when you decide the orientation of each one so preventing the strips from touching each other what I would do is to put a tape at the body of that to prevent it from turning so I'll put this back, I'll put the arrow here and the arrow here so that I put it both arrow together so this is the original orientation okay put this all down so the cover is correct next now is try to make sure the the strips are down and then you can solder them together. Okay, this is quite ready. All the strips are stuck within the area. And now, next step is to put them together. Motor parts are done, has been done. Now it's the out negative and the out positive to go. And then the positive side. Okay, let's test it. The voltage is just a low voltage and keep flashing, which is correct. Let's test the voltage. Overall voltage is 28.4 volt, so almost right because there are seven of them. The individual one 3.94, 3.99, 3.97. 4.04 is not balanced because we just put that in once we discharge and charge it become balanced 4.02 4.07 the last one 4.03 that's pretty good so overall we have 28.44 it's pretty good so let's put another IC, uh, tape here to sit aside to make sure it's uh, isolated and then we put this back into the case
put this back up there mix the wires in and then clip in so this has been done so the battery has been replaced it's reborn this battery go and text it you'll find it amazing so if you like this video please subscribe and share to the friends that who wants to change the battery on this v10 or PS model the idea must be more the same make some comment below if you find this useful or something you can tell me to do better so thank you so much hope you enjoy this video and see you next time goodbye